Hello and welcome to this video. Yeah, this is the first video in our video series about how to fight E4 like Fabiano Caruana does. Yeah, and what does he do? He plays E4, E5, the double king pawn opening. Almost, um, yeah, for sure the most popular reply on the top level nowadays. They almost, um, yeah, almost all of the top players have E4, E5 in the repertoire. But then um, it's a matter of taste, I guess, how they continue against the main lines. Um, pretty much regardless what you do against the main lines, you also need to have something ready against all the side lines that white can throw at you. And this first video is about two very aggressive side lines that we should know some good replies against. Um, we are dealing with, in this video, the move d4, which is not yet really, um, that does not yet have an opening name because the next move after our capture will determine how the game is headed. And the other move that we're going to check is the infamous King's Gambit. Yeah, the King's Gambit is a very um, yeah aggressive opening, of course, and something that we need to have some um, good reply against. So. I suggest that we start with the move d4. Okay, against d4, uh, our choice is easy. We will take the pawn. Yeah, anything else is just too passive, so we take it. This is a general uh, principle that is basically applying throughout the whole repertoire and is also something that is not, um, yeah, something that I invented or that is uh, pioneered here. If you can take a central pawn in the open games, double king pawn, you should almost always do so. It is a much more passive way to play, for example, to defend the pawn with a move like d6. Yeah, you rather want to take and open up the game. So here, black takes the pawn and now white has a choice of, um, of moves. I have to emphasize already that after d4, um, white is struggling for equality. That um, is just uh, what it is. The same thing we will see with the king's gambit. The early gambit continuations really are nothing to be afraid of if you know what you're doing. So d4, e takes d4, what does white do? Um, probably the, the main line here is queen takes d4. Um, which is not a gambit, yeah, of course, but um, it often gets to um, a very sharp play. So it definitely belongs into this first chapter, gambits and attacks. Um, what other moves does white have? Um, one move that is uh, important for us, especially because we play the Petrov against two knight f3, um, a move that is important for us is the move knight f3. Why is that important? Because the normal looking move knight to c6 actually transposes into a scotch game, which is not bad for black, but totally outside of our repertoire. Okay, you can play knight c6 if you also have that um, in your repertoire anyway, but I don't think that is even the best move. The best move, I think, is the one that I'm recommending, bishop c5. You can also play bishop b4 check, by the way, that's also quite okay. Um, yeah, bishop b4 check will very likely after c3 be a gambit that um, black can take. But bishop c5 is, I think, a very strong alternative. Um, there are a couple of reasons why I think that this is good. White now um, has two basic choices. He can make a, a real gambit out of this with um, c3 now or on the next move, or he can just take the pawn. We should look at the gambit first, maybe. Um, that can be started with c3 or bishop c4. It will very likely, yeah, it, it can easily transpose into one another. So if um, c3, 